I wrote a book for boys, a small story book, in 2002, so I thought I'd read it to you. Where is it? It's in here. And what is this? Looks like it's a cover to a seat cushion. This is a reminder not to waste anything. Okay, here's the back of the book. And yes, I drew the pictures. And you might be thinking, well, how does a lady write a book for boys? Well, I have two sons, but they're all grown up now, so I can't read them stories anymore. Here's the front of the book. Prince, son of the king. How to be a genuine prince. Well, here's a, another picture. I was thinking of a friend of the family when I drew that picture, so it's supposed to be him. This book is for boys, age 7 and up, as future leaders, husbands, fathers, they need help preparing for these important jobs. And I think the more they know, the better, so they can learn early, learn when they're young. Now, I especially want you to know how very special you are. Here's the second picture. Okay, I am turning the page. And you might think, well, how can you be a prince? You're not rich. Um, you don't have every great electronic device in the world. You don't live in a castle, a palace. Well, you can be just like a prince, or what they call a prince among men, or a prince among boys, if you act like one. So, part of acting like a prince is being grateful, thankful for everything in your life and also having the respect of people, not just, you know, classmates and neighbors and people you meet, but also of your family. So, did I show this picture yet? No. Here's the next picture. You don't have to be rich to be a prince. Now, young men, boys, have two very special abilities. One of them is strong muscles and the other is speed. Now, I'm not just talking about speed like you could run fast or talk fast or write fast. No, I'm talking you can think fast. And here's the next picture. So what what is the um, what is the advantage of thinking fast? Well, you can come up with the right answer to a question. You could tell a quick joke. You could figure out something about science, math. Math is so important 
At my age, I still use math every single day. Sports. You could think about a particular maneuver if you're having an athletic game. And um, even with food, preparing food, you could think of a quick recipe. If you're hungry and nothing's ready, you could think of, you could look at the ingredients and say, wow, if I mix that and that, that would be a great dish and it would be ready in less than 10 minutes. Now, back to strong muscles. The other gift, ability, the best thing to do with strong muscles is, of course, help others. You can protect the weak, and you can also work very hard. There's an old saying, hard, well, hard work done well feels good. And there's another saying, if you're doing some kind of project, the work is not finished until you've put away all the tools. Here's this picture. Now, don't think drawing pictures is just for girls. There are, there are many famous artists ancient artists that uh, are men and young men too. Okay, what's another thing you could do with uh, the ability to think fast? Get good grades in school and good grades on your homework. And also help others to figure out solutions to their problems family, friends, neighbors, classmates. Here's the picture for that. I hope you recognize what's on the bottom here, an abacus. That was an old-fashioned method, how to do math. If you, keep, if you have trouble with math and you keep studying it, you don't have to worry about trying to learn it because your brain does that all by itself you just have to keep looking at it and working on it and your brain will automatically eventually remember it and you won't have to count on your fingers anymore and it'll just be in your memory like every like so many other things are in your memory right So, you are a leader in training. You represent your family and your country and your school. So, it's very important to act like a gentleman, to be polite, to care, to help others. You have all these abilities already. And wouldn't it be wonderful? If after people meet you, they think to themselves, wow, that's the kind of a young man who makes the world a better place. Here's the picture for that. Now, when I said you have strong muscles, there's one thing you should not do with them. Get into fights. Now it's different if you have to protect someone. Then you can use your muscles. Um, the problem with getting into fights um, when you don't have when you're not trying to protect yourself or someone else is that you get in the habit of fighting and habits are very hard to break. Now, if you, if you see someone doing something bad and you want to stop them from doing it, 
it, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to physically fight them. Sometimes you could just talk to them, not with anger. Anger is, is not good at all. You could just talk to them and say, hey, man, you're better than that. You don't need to do that. You know, just say something. Here's a picture for this page. And that's it. Have a great day. Think about what I'm saying. Study, read, practice math. Practice your writing, and uh, don't waste anything. Let's say you have this piece of fabric, and you don't know what to do with it, and you don't need it for anything, and you don't want to fill your house to the ceiling with pieces of fa fabric, then cut it up and use it for a rag and clean something with it, right?